So we've had not long to reflect, only a day or so. What's the mood like in the camp after Tuesday's game? Yeah, it's still good. Um, like I said, we've been on a really good run. Uh, the boys have done really well. Um, confidence is high. Obviously disappointed from, from Tuesday. Um, the first 45, there wasn't much in it. He said we competed well at the top of the league and unfortunately didn't quite perform second half. So no, we don't want to get too down. We don't get too high when, we, when we're doing well. So just got to keep that mentality going and, and, and keep going really. I was going to say, it's important that nobody lets it knock them too much, yeah. isn't it? I mean, like you say, we were well in the game up until yeah. the first goal and then, um, you know, they're top of the table. We've been on a great run. It's a, just put it behind you and move on, isn't it? Yeah, it's well, then we spoke about it after the game. Like I said, we don't want to, do you know what I mean, lose one game and then, and then think we're all, do you know what I mean, bad players. So um, we know that as a, as a squad and as a, as a group together that we just got to concentrate on ourselves and, and make sure we can put another run together, really. Like I said, then we... We don't want to get too too high or low either way. So as long as we maintain that consistency, which we have done over the last couple of months, then then that'll be better. And for you personally, obviously you, you missed a couple of games uh, with a knock. Was it a yeah. knee? Injury? Yeah. Uh, how are you feeling? Are you feeling fully fit? Yeah, fully fit now, which is good. So um, can't wait to get back back involved properly. I've come on last couple of games, but like I said, the boys have been doing so well. Um, you just got to sort of wait your turn and be patient and, and support from the sidelines, which I've been doing. And, like I said, we've got a great group of lads here who all, all support each other and, and, and do everything we can to, to improve each other. So um, that now we are fully fit, enjoying training and back into it, so it's good. I suppose that underlines kind of what it's like to be a member of the, mm. the squad here at the moment when you're in a good run of form. You personally were in a great run of form. Yeah. You scored the winner against Sunderland yeah. about a week, ten days before yeah. you got injured, didn't you? And, and you've you had to wait because Byron's done well and the team's yeah. done well. Yeah, that's how it goes in football, like I said. You're a group together, and we know um, the gaffer's built a squad which she we, she knows we can compete at this level. Um, there's competition for places, which is always good. Uh, training's been been spot on, so when the team's doing well and, and, and players are performing, then you haven't got an excuse really. You just got to, like I said, make sure you're doing everything possible you can to to make sure you work yourself back in the team. Um, and just like I said, just support all the boys from from there on in. And, and like I said, as long as the team's doing well, generally it's a, it's a good place to be. So um, it works out well when everyone's doing well. You've experienced a lot of dressing rooms in your career. How mm. does how does this team spirit and this one compare to others that you've? Yeah, had? it's great. Like I said, every 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 dressing room is different. I've been in um, experienced ones where there's a lot of old lads. This is this is probably quite a young one that I've been in now. Um, I am one of the oldest, which is which is which is different, but it's enjoyable as well. Like I said, we've got a lot of enthusiasm, um, and players really want to do well here, which is I think what the the gaffers and, and the and the staff have got. Correct is you got players in who want to do well and achieve stuff. So um, motivation's high. Great lads, good little buzz about the place. So no, it's really good. Lincoln on Saturday, another tough game. Mm. You've obviously played them twice this season. You played in both games, I think. Uh, played in the cup game, yeah. Uh, the difficult circumstances at Lincoln, wasn't it? Mm. Um, we had a couple of players who came out of the team last minute. Yeah. The COVID regulations. Obviously, we beat them here in the cup. Uh, what do you? as a group take from those games do you take much from them or do you approach it fresh yeah we do but like I said we're, we're probably a different team from, from the start of the year we've had a few changes um, so like I said last sort of two months is you sort of recognise it on we haven't played them in the last two months so we go in it fresh we know they're a good side they're at the top for a reason got some good players um, but so have we so we just want to concentrate on ourselves and make sure that we're, we perform like we know we can which unfortunately didn't do on Tuesday night in the second half so we need to make sure we do a complete 90 minute performance um, of what we do well and, and see where it takes us. Last one for me, it was announced uh, earlier in the week, the kind of roadmap out of mm. lockdown, wasn't it? And, and one of those elements was fans back in stadium, but probably not until the end mm. of the regular season. Just a word on that and, and sort of your message to the supporters. Yeah, it's, it's, it's good in a way that, that we've got a light at the end of the tunnel for, for everyone, not just in football, but in life. Um, but it's also a disappointment that when we haven't got the fans in at the moment, we know how much they help us and we help them, I suppose, as well. So, um, like I said, we, it, it's been a frustrating year in terms of fans and being able to get, get people back in the stadiums, but um, we have got that light at the end of the tunnel now and it's something that we really look forward to seeing them back in again. And like I said, we just can't wait to have a full out here. Thanks, mate.